Hi everybody. How's everyone doing? Is everyone good? You ever worry you're becoming your father? <laughs> My dad's fueled by panic. Has anyone got a dad like that? What's going on? Get the car, get the dog, go to the beach now! <laughs> Relax, Dad, we're on holidays. We could be on holidays faster. <laughs> My dad treats life like a race. It's like a job to get done to him. Get born, grow up, meet someone, get married, have kids, retire, dead, good, done. <laughs> Thank God I got that life job done, what's next? Looks like the afterlife needs a mow. Let's mow the afterlife. <laughs> Let's get that job done. My dad never looks inward, he's just going. You won't get me life, I'm going too fucking quick. <laughs> to feel. I wish I was like that, you know, just running through life, leaving a wake of mentally ill children behind me. <laughs> My problem was I smoked too much pot, too young. Like it made damage. Um, <laughs> it made damage and um, I remember looking at my bedroom window and the family hose was so short. <laughs> from me making bongs out of it. <laughs> that I'll never forget watching dad go on the fucking hose. <laughs> used to go to the fence. <laughs> Cause to him the hose was just shrinking. <laughs> he had no idea what a bong was. He didn't think someone would be cutting the hose and putting the end back on. Until it got like to hear, he's like, Mark, the fucking hose is shrinking. <laughs> My dad just had a double bypass heart surgery. He's fine, right? But I go to see him the next day in hospital and he's lying there with fentanyl, you know, our most powerful opioid being dripped into him all day. And he was still impatient and annoyed. <laughs> like, when's the nurse coming? Here she comes, about time. Dude, you're on heroin. <laughs> Dad's the only heroin addict ever in history who's like, when's this euphoria and bliss gonna end? <laughs> I wanna get up and clean the leaves out of the gutter. I'm in a state of bliss, fuck. <laughs> I'm finally free for myself, just what I needed. <laughs> I'm, nearly, uh, I'm nearly 40 now, you know, and um, I'm just getting to that age where, I don't know, you know, I'm, I can feel the white middle-aged Australian starting to rise in me. You know what I mean? Like I'm starting to judge people's reverse parks. I'm like, oh, he's fucked that, he's fucked it. <laughs> like there's no one around, I'm like, he's fucked it, he's fucked it. <laughs> he's fucked that. I'm starting to tap different materials and shit, like fences and shit. I'm like, what's that? That's made of, that's made of ply, that, that's cheap shit. <laughs> it's just fucking, that's just pine, that. That's cheap shit. <laughs> Every day when I go to pick up my son from school, I have the awkward middle-aged dad chat. Just other middle-aged dads and we stand around. G'day, Roger. Good to see you, Damien. Good to see you, yeah. Good to see you too. <laughs> Roger, the, uh, the sun is hot, isn't it, Roger, today? Yes, Damien, the sun's different to yesterday. It is different, Roger, yes. It's almost like we're on a planet of some sort and the weather is constantly shifting. Our kids are running around playing. Woohoo, woohoo, let's play, I'm free, woohoo, I'm a dragon, chase me and all this sort of shit. That's how you start life, free, playing. Then it ends up, Roger, good to see you. <laughs> Help me, Roger, I'm alone, I don't know who I am, I'm alienated, Roger, what are we? <laughs> Sorry, Roger, to scream in your face. <laughs> like that, I'd like to come over and tap your fence at some point if I could. <laughs> see what materials we have there. My son runs over and goes, Daddy, can Timmy have a sleepover? Just met the dude. Not for adult shit like sex or drugs or networking. <laughs> Just to keep the pure joy of the friendship going. 
just in the moment. We're not doing that as adults, are we? Not like, yes, Patrick, of course Timmy can have a sleepover. And uh, what about you, Roger? <laughs> Would you like to come for a sleepover? <laughs> we can build a fort. Imagine having your 40-year-old mate over for a play. Come on, Roger, we've built a fort. Hide, the bad guys are coming, I'll protect you. Just like the time you got done for corporate tax fraud. <laughs> the last place I went before COVID was uh, America. And as, as Australians, we always give America shit for they're so passionate about their rights and their freedom. You can't make me wear a mask. <laughs> no. But if anything, as Australians, we suffer from the opposite problem. Like, we're too apathetic. That's why we did so well in COVID. Because <laughs> the government was like, stay in your house. We were like, yep, no worries, cheers, thank you. <laughs> we'll be right here. <laughs> Americans are like, you can't make me get in my house! 5G's making everyone pedophiles! <laughs> We're inside going, stay there for a month. Yep, we'll be right here. Thank you, government. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. I swear to God, man, if China did invade and they didn't fuck with the cricket, <laughs> the footy, Netflix or cafes, I don't even know if we'd notice. Oh, look at that, there's Xi Jinping watching the cricket. <laughs> Australia gets a bad rap for racism because of all the racism. <laughs> but... But we all have racist thoughts, don't we? Okay. No, there's a, <laughs> there's a part of our brain, they've studied it. Every human being has a part of our brain that generalises and makes broad sweeping generalisations and stereotypes large groups of people. All of us have it. It comes from a time in tribal times when like a tribe might come out of the darkness. You might be like, oh, they all can't drive. <laughs> something dumb. Something dumb and stereotypical and racist, right? But then for those of us that aren't racist, there's a second more intelligent thought that overrides that. Like, oh no, some of them are good at drifting. <laughs> I'm at that stage in my career where I'd like to have some money. <laughs> Just some money. I'm getting offered cruise ship gigs now which uh, for us is the beginning of the end. <laughs> a lot of my good mates, great comics on cruise ships now, and they want me on them to justify their shitty decision. <laughs> it's like the fucking ship of the dead out there. You know Pirates of the Caribbean, there's that, there's that ghost ship and they're all dead. It's like that, they're like, join us, Damo, join us. There's a buffet, join us, join us. You might have to do four hours of clean material, join us. There's a kid's show. How are you working with kids? International waters, there's a loophole. <laughs> Join. <laughs> the big thing now by comedians is kids' books. That's the big cash grab now. Every fucking comedian's got a kids' book. Everyone, even the dude from Little Britain, kids' book. They won't, they won't print my kids' book. You know? They've all got, they've all, they're all shit books. Not deep and metaphorical like Roald Dahl. They're all shit like, oh, grandma's got a weird bum and she farted. <laughs> the big bad doctor had a bum and he farts sometimes. Ha ha ha. There's a doctor who farts. <laughs> they won't print my book. They won't print my kid's book. Stare into the void and the void stares back. <laughs> they won't print it because it's too real. I've actually memorised an excerpt from my kid's book if you'd like to hear it. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. 
the big bad grandma put on her leather jacket and her helmet and revved, revved her Harley Davidson and rode through the streets. All the kids were scared of the big bad grandma because she steals their pocket money. The big bad grandma pulled up to the bus and jumped off and got on the bus. All the kids hid behind the seats and the big bad grandma realised that one day she will die. Before she was born, there was eternity, then life, then eternity. Life is a short blip, a waking dream, a tiny slither of consciousness. We are nothing but we are everything, like a daisy. We are nothing and we are everything. Remember God and remember death. We grew out of this planet just like a tree, but we're the first thing to grow out of this planet and understand that we are everything. Then she farted. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.